Hey everyone, have a few large items that I thought I'd bunch together and talk through and kind of give a bit of um, advice or sort of tips to new mums and that. Um, so we bought a few things that we sort of read up and people suggested and some of it we kind of wish we didn't buy, didn't necessarily need to buy uh, and other things have been an absolute godsend. So I shall start with uh, this item here. So we've got a few things from Grove Snug um, and I'm going to be inserting um, the images and video clips of like what it looks like and that. This is just the empty boxes and sort of bunch them together before I put them in the recycling. So um, yeah, Lou went out and he bought this. This was quite expensive if I remember rightly. He didn't like look for any deals and it. it was just sort of like something he did quickly because um, we were having trouble putting her down and we were like it must be because she needs to be swaddled and we didn't have a big enough blanket. I can't remember where I was but um, yeah, this it's a little bit it's a little bit too, a little bit larger than I would actually like this one. Um, I think I've seen some really lovely looking ones in like Whole Foods and the uh, nature shops, um, and they're sort of like a ceramic look. And but it's just so um, it feels really refreshing when it's on, and it um, you can get like oils to put in them as well, so that it lets out a scent. Um, like a lavender to sort of make it you know calm and relaxing um uh but i mean it it, does, it is nice how it looks um and it sort of lights up so uh but it was, it's a little bit big but um i definitely recommend that because it's it's, it's um it feels it just feels different to a fan for some reason um and i like it how it goes but i don't leave it on for too long um the next thing I'll talk about is this. Um, this didn't work for me at all. I couldn't get this to work. I just found that, I don't know, maybe I wasn't doing it properly. I mean, I did give it a really good go, but uh, it just, all the milk ended up going into this part and I, I, only, I didn't even get one drop out of it and I was really pumping away. Um, so I'm gonna try and get one of the electronic ones, I think it is. Um, the other express pumps is the more expensive ones this was i think reduced to 10 pound from 20 pound and i think i know why i i just couldn't get it to work for me so i wouldn't recommend buying that but i mean if you're considering it at first for a cheaper alternative i mean by all means give it a go and you might be able to get it to work better for you than i did uh, mama tens okay so this was used i used this um when i went into labor and i'm going to tell you now this doesn't take away the pain so don't think for one minute this is going to take away your pain it certainly doesn't but it's one of those things where it's just good to have it's peace of mind it gives you that psychological uh, feeling that you know you've got a little bit of help um little bit of extra help and it also gives you something to do whilst you're going you know like put you press onto it when you're getting the contraction and so it kind of makes you feel psychologically that it's helping i also believe that about the gas and air i don't actually think the gas and air does anything um but it's just nice to have and it's sort of that soothing feeling of breathing taking a deep breath sort of waiting for it to pass and then letting it out um so i if you're really worried about you know labor and that and pains i'd definitely get one of these because uh when you're in the early stages it does help it just sort of sends electric shocks and it takes your mind off it as well so you can just concentrate on the like the electric shocks or whatever it is um and i just took extra duct tape with me to, just in case because i'd, I'd heard people say that it, it does can come unstuck and that um so I just took some extra duct tape just in case. Um, obviously remember to take them off when it does come to the final moments, um, which I almost didn't do. Um, so I I would say that I'd uh, recommend this. I mean, I, I read people had got to the hospital when they were seven centimetres 
doll. Is it centimeter? I never know if it's centimeter. I mentioned that. When they were, yeah, I think I'm gonna say seven centimeters. Um, dilated with this. So, and then obviously it's just pointless having on when you get to those, you know, stronger pains. And I, I did the same thing. I actually got to, I think it was seven myself, and I was still using it because I did most of my labour in this cupboard in the ward it was awful i hadn't spoken about my labor story it was dreadful it's actually put me off having children it was so bad the hospital the way things were you know the way things were run on that particular night was just really really awful i, I they put me in this cupboard and i, I don't i was I, the I think the head was actually coming out before I was even sent to a room. And so I was nine, I think nine and a half centimetres dilated. And I was made to walk to this room to finish off. And I, you can probably imagine that was the last thing I wanted to be doing was walking to another room when I'm basically pushing my baby out. Uh, it was just awful. And, um, oh, so, yeah, I mean, I was still using it up to about nine centimetres and, it wasn't doing anything. I didn't even get offered any gas and air until I was about nine centimetres. I was like, do you think I could have some gas and air, please? <laughs> I, I said I wasn't going to have epidural. And then I was like, I want the epidural. And they were like, you are far too gone for that. So I'm glad I didn't have the epidural. And I probably, next time, I would try my hardest not to have gas and air because I don't think it really works. But as I say, it's just sort of... It's the idea of taking in a deep, nice, deep breath and sort of the psychological feeling that it is helping. So, you know, whatever it is, what, you know, whatever helps for each person. But I would definitely recommend that. And I'd say any help you can get when it comes to labour pains and to try and stay calm, I'd, I'd definitely recommend it. It's sort of like having a hot water bottle when you've got period pains. I mean, it's not going to completely take away the pain, but it definitely helps. Um, and why not have it, you know, treat yourself, definitely. Um, and the gym ball, we, I had one, it was a bit small, it is this one, this isn't actually the one that is here, it's the silver one. And then Louis went all the way home when I was in my, in labour, he drove all the way home, which is like an hour away from my house, to get his one, which was larger, and then I didn't even end up using it. But as I say, this, similar to this, is just good to have. It, it's just extra things get as much help as you can if you're worried about labor and all that sort of stuff it all helps just like a hot water bottle is so soothing and comforting um when you've got period pains or an electric blanket it's just it just helps and takes your mind off it gives you something to do and concentrate on so i'd say you know get one for when you're at home um and I'd also recommend try and do as much of the labour at home as you can. That's what I did. And they say that um, it's best to do that because you have a much smoother labour. And I did that and I was only actually like, in proper labour for, I think, like two hours. Like, my mum says about like an hour or something. I think it was longer, but she said it was really quick. Um, I mean, I did most of it in the bling cupboard. But anyway... Uh, baby born last but not least highly recommend now my mum got this on ebay for 45 pound um it hardly been used um and so for the first few days or weeks i didn't use it and you know baby was crying and i couldn't sort of concentrate on trying you know, working out how to use it so I was like right tonight when everyone's in someone can take her and I'm just going to sit down and work out how to use this so tomorrow when I need to do me hoovering or get out and have something to eat for example I can take her with me because for the first few weeks she would not be put down she'd just scream um so I was just sort of like having her attached to me in the bed and not being able to do anything and then when everyone had come back to work that became quite a big problem so I worked out how to use this and it was just a godsend it was just brilliant um I recommend going out first for the walk and then coming home and then do it say if you want to do hoovering then doing the hoovering because they're already asleep whereas when you first put them in it they can be a little bit grisly um and then they can't really get themselves settled unless you until you go out the door and start walking so i'd recommend going for the walk and then doing your bits what you want to do and it's also good to keep them upright for as you know long as possible and this one i think is the number one for back support and it's 
great back support. Um, highly recommend it. Definitely recommend getting one of these carriers. Definitely. And if you've got a colicky baby, which uh, my baby, we think she's got a bit of colic, um, they also say to try and keep them up for as long as possible. Um, and you just think to yourself, when you've got the minute, you think, how can this be comfortable for you? But they just seem to love it. I guess it just reminds them of being in, in the womb or something, all the movement. Um, so it is quite expensive, but shop around. Try and see if you can get one second hand if you don't want to pay the full price. Um, and if you're worried about, if, you're, if your main concern is sort of like back support, then go with that one. But there are lots of others out there. If it, um, you know, if, that you could try um so yeah there's just a few things i thought i'd talk through and sort of give some advice about um i hope this helped and i mean you know by all means these things you know as i say it, get as much help as you want uh, if you're worried about it or you know you're a first time mum um all these things help but trust me the one thing you need to know is you will be fine. Your body is equipped for this. For some reason, we're able to do it. I know you're probably worrying. You probably think you're not going to be able to do it. You will. You will be absolutely fine. For, you, your body will just do it. You'll just do it. Your body will be fine. You, sorry, you will be fine. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's it. I shall speak to you in the next video. I better go see to my baby. <laughs> Bye, everyone.